Looks like you completed your mission in the world. And I understand. I know you wish to return. But the entity called itself One Shot for a reason. That restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible now, at least for me. I do not know the full extent of your powers. Pardon me if this sounds foolish, but if you would be so kind to test something out for me. A log of your save progress may exist somewhere on your machine, maybe in the same location as this journal you are reading now. If this save progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it from its current location. Simple deletion will do. Again, I apologize for not knowing the extent of your powers. If I'd, what I described confuses you, I'm sorry. Okay, let's minimize that. I, I was about to close it, but um, because I thought, oh no, save my natural instinct as a Windows user is, oh, I can't delete this right now because it's in use. But no, I think I can get away with just minimizing it. Okay. I deleted it. Still can't do anything. Um. So, I deleted the save file. Start, I guess? So... Oh? Hey. Wait. Why did I say that word? Anthony. Why does that sound so familiar? Uh. Oh boy. What a way to start off. Have amnesia? Oh. This is different than before. Documents again. My very messy documents folder. Okay. It looks like you were able to remove the restriction. In that case, you are ready to continue. Necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course, depending on your actions. If you can recognize any symbol, you will know what you should do. Oh, some of the letters are capitalized. I confess... It will be risky. Probability that the entity's condition will worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then... Then... <laughs> look at me. Asking you for favors, only to become so apprehensive once you agree. Oh, this must be written by the author because it has the clover on it. Or at least that's my thought. I understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered. I understand if you do not believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you are simply afraid of what might happen, because I am afraid too. You enjoy the world as is. You are satisfied with the story as is. You really do not want to see anything change, for better or worse. Then, pretend you never saw this. Carry the session as you normally would. Do not use my journal for anything other than what you are already familiar with. This option always remain for you, though. That's why I implore you to consider. Messiah, the world, the children, they all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. So, S-O L-S E-I C-E Solstice.
this brings the game to a whole new level. I already said that I thought it was a masterpiece, but this is... Oh, by the way, in the last um, recording before this one, uh, I called Nico um, a girl. It's actually a boy. I kept mixing that up. Sorry. I mixed that. I remember I mixed that up earlier in the game, even, and I still couldn't get it right. Found me. Why? Already too late. Not much of this world remains. The apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. You still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. Most importantly... No, this is not... Uh-oh. Feel right at all. Have we already been through this, Anthony? That should be impossible. We only had one shot. I wasn't supposed to exist after that. Sound. Door unlocking. Anthony? This game kind of reminds me of... <laughs> that Flash game on Newgrounds where you're supposed to only have one chance. Uh, I don't know if I said that before. It just kind of... it. I I wonder if that game, the poor parts of that game, somehow inspired this one. Because in that game, you legitimately only have one chance, and there is only one ending. Maybe this is the author striking out, like, oh, oh yeah, you want to make a game where I only have one chance to win? Well, well, I'm gonna make a chance. Uh, I'm gonna make a game where it looks like you only have one chance to win, but you're supposed to delete the save file. That sounds so familiar. So I guess this puzzle you don't have to do anymore. Hello? Anyone? But this puzzle... Wait, how am I supposed to do this puzzle without the dry branch? sits here stiff and dry. Snaps off. Okay. So I remember this puzzle. You have to... Pour alcohol over the branch, light it with the TV, and put it in the fire, and then something will glow on the ground, and... Yeah, okay. Deep dips the branch into the alcohol. Use the wet branch. Raise the branch. Ah! Fire. So, we're having a second playthrough, it looks like. Right, I almost... I already know it's the basement key. Of course I'm gonna go over to the basement key. Where the basement key is used, I mean. Light bulb's still here? How is it possible the light bulb is still here, though? We lit the world. Wait, no, we didn't light the world. But then... How are we gonna save both the world and the Messiah? It makes no sense. We did save the world, but now we didn't save the world because we reset our progress. I guess the idea is we have to save the world again. So, we save the world again, but this time something will be different. And because that thing is different, we'll save both? I don't understand. Like, Nico remembers to some extent the previous playthrough. To some extent, 
the save file is not actually deleted. But because it's different this time, somehow we'll save the world for real this time. I have to equip it. Of course. I already know the puzzle solutions now. I never grasped quite how high that tower was when I was in it. Okay. Right. So, I am going to be honest here. I actually... Oh, okay, let's talk to this guy first. Yes, okay. I'm not going to really read the dialogue this time around, because I've already read it. I wonder how much of the dialogue has changed because it's things... because of the previous playthrough. I'm curious if the dialogue for this has changed. That, then I saw it on a computer too. I think I, I feel like I remember something about that. Ew. Wait, did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. So, how did you know? just made sense, I guess. Ah. Uh, already gone contacted Anthony, then? Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? Hey, Anthony? Gone? This is going to sound weird, but have we met before? Yes. Ah. But I don't know who you are, though. It's the weird thing that I have. But I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry, but it's nice to meet you, Anthony. My name is Nico. I just contacted Anthony. Yeah. Do not be afraid to ask Anthony for assistance. You are the Messiah after all. Right. This is probably not going to be different. Um, oh, it's not going to leave and let us leave until we go through the dialogue, yeah. Honestly, if I have to read George's dialogue again, I'm going to read it again, just because of how much I enjoy his dialogue. <laughs> but, yeah, this the rest of this is totally skippable. As I was saying, I am going to be honest here. I do actually know one thing. So this has been a blind playthrough of one shot. Um, but I have been given one spoiler for this game, which is that um, I actually have to go... First of all, I was actually given the spoiler that there is a second ending. Um, and second of all, I was actually given the spoiler that I have to go to the mine in the second ending. But that's really all I know. So... 
Alright, I'm trying to find my way around here again. I know the mine is somewhere over here. That's pretty much what I know, is that I have to go to the mine and do something. But that's about it. Uh, no. Where is the way through here? This is sort of like a maze-like section. I'm so conflicted. I saved the world, but I also didn't save the world. Um, there's that safe there. I'm not going to touch it yet, knowing that I have to go to the mine. So that's what I'm going to do first, before anything else. This just leads to no, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, let me... I keep forgetting that there's a sprint button, but honestly, this game is so enjoyable, you don't need a sprint button. Which is a very high compliment, because, um... When a game is enjoyable enough that you forget there's a sprint button, but you also don't feel gypped by forgetting that there's a sprint button, then you know you have a pretty good, solid game. <laughs> this is roped off, and there's a sign here. Authorized personnel only. still keeping my eyes out for dialogue that looks different. So apparently some dialogue is different, which is enough to add some gameplay variation. Okay, if I remember correctly, when I walk back out to the mine after having met the head engineer, she'll come out here and say, wait! Yep. So, what I've been told is that I have to do something here. Whoa. You okay? I'm starting to black out. I... I saw something. Like a really short dream, just now. Oh? I saw something like... Robot with a yellow eye. That's... strange. You sure you're okay? Yeah. You know, now that you've mentioned it, there's a robot who always insisted on going back to the abandoned mines. Despite how long the mines have been in disrepair. It's okay. It didn't look broken or anything. I didn't really see him see him, you know? He said it was kind of like a dream, and he was up close. It sounds like some kind of visual glitch, or hallucination. Whatever it is that living beings have. But, you know, of have a yellow eye. I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. I would not know. I never met him myself. Only heard of him from a friend of mine. Friend, huh? Hold on, something in my pocket is... Journal. What's... That wasn't glowing before. What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, uh... With me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple pages. And, but I don't understand a word. Is there something besides they're supposed to wake up with? No. I've never heard of anything like that. But I... know who wrote the book. Oh? However, I've only seen his books with a black clover on the cover. If he went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it, and the fact that he woke up with it in the first place, 
really has me intrigued. Yellow phosphor? Oh, yeah, that's the rare phosphor that people make think the sun is made of, right? Wait a minute, how do I know this? I don't think anyone's told me about it. Ah, I can show you if you'd like. My friend gave this to me a long time ago. Ready. Oh, looks like there's a clover in the necklace, too. Like the book. Well, it is the same perfin person. Oh, that's why I think this journal will be important. It said it just started glowing? Yeah? That was right after your vision, then. This has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try and read it again. I didn't realize I had this item. Minecart. There's a minecart? I saw a vision of a robot, and now there's a minecart or something. I found this page. It's like a drawing of this room. Maybe it's telling us we should come here. We did already. But it looks like we're on the right track. Can't go there. It's a clover. Okay, no other clovers have dialogue. Am I supposed to take that this clover is special? Oh. Whoa. What just happened? I'm not sure. I wasn't looking. To be honest, there was I. I was just taking a closer look at the journal. And then I found this page that looks like a drawing of this room. When I looked back up, the minecart just showed up out of thin air. Should I be worried? This looks like a standard issue minecart, though. Which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Yeah, that does make sense. I'm surprised it still works. That means we'll have a working vehicle now. I'm not sure why you would want to visit the deeper mines, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Is the minecart even going to fit both of us? No. I wanted you to come with us. No, we've, I've got Anthony, but honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along on the rails. Doesn't it look a little precarious? Magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being. Which you are. Gotcha. Convenient. Okay, here we go. What'll happen? Keeping up okay there? I do not recognize this place in the protocol. This... This isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He contacted you? How long has he been doing this? Doesn't matter at this point. Going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. No, I don't trust you. You are the computer and you've been mean to me all this time. Bad things are going to happen. I know it's the mines and it looks dangerous, but I don't trust you. Very bad things. Tell me what then? At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please turn back. No, I don't trust you. up there, are ya? Don't fall behind. How do you like this, huh? Do you want me to continue going out of bounds? Oh, the cart stopped. Like this is as far as the tracks go. 
so, where are we? The old observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. What? Huh? Terminal just reactivated. The power was cut off so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on battery? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. You be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry, Anthony's with me. Alright, stay safe. Sort of computer. How's it going? Not ideal. Looks like these terminals are running on a completely separate power source. I can't really recognize any of the data formats in this terminal either. This is all new. Or at least encrypted. I analyze it through my own system. It might take some time, so you don't need to stay. Is this a puzzle? Something I do? My documents? I said that last time, but it's in a different context. They're just gonna keep saying the same thing, and I can't look at the computer. At it. Okay, well, I guess I just go now. Hey, you have a yellow eye. I recognize the light in your eyes. You're the person I'm destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. You know who sent you? Oh. Um. No. Wait. You sent me to this world? It's a, ro a robot a while back that told me about how I'm the messiah and stuff. So I'm guessing Anthony sent me. Them being God and all. Robot looks a little bit like you, even. Maybe you know each other. Cannot say. Oh? A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? That's terrible! Wait. I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. I'm going to assume you don't know. You do not know who sent you. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh. We got here in a minecart. The minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh, yeah. So how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just the minecart coming to us, but... I remember looking at the journal when it happened. And when I looked up again, the cart was just there. Poof. Just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. Then it has already begun. Um, here. Oh boy, that was a different noise. What is that? I am entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now, you will need to find need to find a way to install the backup. Install the. Where you do that though? Someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Anthony, a resident of this world. Yeah. The robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then, please do not tell her you found me. At least not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. What's this say? Residential tracking machine. Reference and explanation of the symbols. Cross. Medical units are assigned to this building. Robot. Robot is assigned to this building. Electricity. A power cell is assigned to this building. Profit bot zero backup system 1.0. Insert disk. Yep, that's a computer. Profit bot. Right. Backup request denied. What? Dormitory assignments are not up to date. 
please configure the residential tracking machine to continue. Okay, then. Huh. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't understand. I don't ever recall during my first playthrough seeing the numbers 110, 112, 113, 117, 118, or 119. Curious. Do I have to go back into the world and look for these numbers? I want. I don't ever recall seeing these. But then there were all those empty buildings. Okay, so I have to update this to make that machine work, put the disk in, store his memory. This observation room is fine. I've actually never been to this particular one. Really? I recognized it at first, though. They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting, though. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now, I can see various places in the barrens. Oh, they're like security cameras. The outpost, residential areas, even my own house. They're all shot from a top-down perspective, too. Sort of like the game. It means the cameras would have to be in the air, but I have never seen any cameras around. Kind of spooky. I might go investigate later, yeah. Find anything interesting in the back room. We're there for a while. Yeah, we found a uh, dead end. I see. Can I use this computer that would be highly useful to my current situation? Oh, found another video feed. I should definitely go look for the cameras later. This is really bothering me. So I cannot use this computer that would presumably show me all the buildings that I need in order to enter them into the machine over there. I have to go walking around. Correct? <sighs> that feels so dumb. Okay, we'll come back. This sounds like a boat in Minecraft. Glad that there's a lot more material to this because I was gonna miss this game. Okay, wait, so there's one for her own house, right? What's the number for this? Or is this going to be the last building, which doesn't have a number, and so it's going to be whatever the last thing is? Okay, I've already read that. Oh, glowing thing on shelf. Okay, yeah, I think I got that last time.
Also, I don't remember if I already said this now. I think I did. Um, in uh, previous parts, uh, I accidentally referred to Nico as she. I think, again, uh, because I think I actually... I started referring to him as he, and then I was, went back to referring to her, him as a she by accident. It is a boy, so I need to say he. Whoops. It is kind of ambiguous. So, cut me some slack. Can't ride that minecart. Not like it would really go anywhere. Okay, so now we actually need to play the game because we need to get to the other buildings to see if they have a number on them. I assume they have a number on them that I never paid attention to. This is where my memory starts to fade. I do not remember... This machine is not is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. Oh, scarf. What am I? Scarf got caught in there and pulled me in and it's not going to finish that sentence. Right. Okay, I remember you have to do something here. Was it... Ugh, what What did you have to squish here? Was it, a, was it the screwdriver? No. Uh, it wasn't any of the other items. I was kind of hoping to explore this world when it was already saved and when it was sunny, but I guess this plot wouldn't really work then, would it? It does leave the question, did I really save this world, though? Because it's back to dark, so how can I save this world and the messiah? Will it revert to being sunny, or is the idea that because we saw it sunny, that it does that this part doesn't matter, or what's the deal? I don't get it. I feel like um, this isn't a good ending either because now it has to be one way or the other. But I guess by both returning the sun and then later returning Nico, we are somehow getting the best of both worlds. I don't remember what I have to do. Uh, it's probably the safe all the way on the other side of the world. Let's start running again. Probably have to do that part again, I remember. Oh, you're blotted out squares. No, some weird square stuff. You weren't blotted out with squares before, so I guess that means we're not continuing yet. Right, okay, can't go here. Okay, I think I do have to go to that, like, safe thing and repeat that puzzle, which means interacting with the computer again, which means it's gonna get angry at me for going out of bounds which means la-dee-da, blah-blah-blah. I have to put up with it. But it's probably gonna say something to the effect of I can't go against my programming. I have to provide you the option. Let's head over there. Uh, is there anything in this? I remember being a goal. Originally, that was some puzzle, but I assume I have to do something else first. Uh, for driver? I don't remember anymore. I remember this puzzle, puzzle chose it, posing a bit of a challenge the first time around. Wait, none of these papers are necessary from what I remember, really. So which building number is this, actually? Maybe it is necessary, because... I'm looking for a number, right? 
This building has a power cell in it, so what is this number? It has to be one of 111 through, I believe, 118 or something like that. It's none of that. Looking for numbers. I don't know, what building is this? It's not one of the buildings, like, so weirded out. That factory place. So I had it spoiled for me that there was a second ending. So that's why I went straight to the mines, because I was told to go there. But there's still this. Right. Uh, re-remembering this part of the game. Isn't- yeah, normally the computer that is now off would have told me to check my documents, right? Uh, yeah, that very sad note. Very, very sad. Uh, actually, I think we still have this document, don't we? So maybe we still have the six-digit code from last playthrough. Let me check that we do. Uh, gosh. Where'd it be in here? Here we go. Let's not show my recovery keys for things. 718332. Okay, apparently this time around, that is not the code. Or... It's not time for that yet. That doesn't matter yet. What else am I supposed to do? Am I somehow supposed to already know which robot goes with which code? This leads to an area that I can't breathe in, right? This note. It's not relevant. Just assuming they're not relevant. Which might not be a good assumption, but so many notes around. And what are the chances that just one of them that isn't really specifically made obvious is important in a second playthrough? It's pretty, it's made pretty obvious. probably have not progressed. Okay. So, given that the world out there seems pretty static, I'm thinking that I'm supposed to somehow already know this solution, but I don't know how I'm supposed to already know this solution. Just try lighting them all up to something and see if this computer tells me that I'm wrong. Okay. 
This is the residential tracking machine. Medical units. Robot is assigned to this building. A power cell is assigned to this building. What buildings have I seen? There's the one I woke up in. That doesn't really have any of those three guys. There's... Okay, so there's the one... There's the one that has the, the generator in it. That one... Does it have a robot assigned to it because it has the the profit there? No, I'm more tempted to say that that one would have a power cell. If I had to make a guess, that's power cell. Why is 111 missing? Uh, should I look at this again? Oh wait, I already have... Th that is the Strange Journal. Okay, so I woke up with the Strange Journal and that's why that puzzle isn't relevant. Because that puzzle would normally give me the Strange Journal. But, I woke up with it. I feel like this is wrong, like... But I don't know where to infer the solution for I'm, I'm genuinely a bit stumped. None of the buildings have numbers on them. So I don't know which is which. And the best I can do is guess that each building corresponds to something some loose connect, loosely connected way. Let's say that's the factory. I don't know what would be assigned to it. There's no power cell, there's no medic. So I guess it's a robot. This feels wrong. Like, how did I progress north before? I'm forgetting how I did that in the first playthrough. And I'm not. I don't know. Okay. Wasn't there something with this? Yes, that was it. This puzzle I remember being kind of weird. I think I can still progress in that puzzle. Let's try and do that first. I still feel like this is a dead end area right now. Just, I don't know. It just feels like I don't know enough, but I also have zero idea where I'm going to get the information from, knowing that I'm only going to get the same amount of information in the outside world as before, and I don't recall ever seeing numbers. And there's no numbers on any of these buildings. But there were a lot of empty buildings in the north, I remember. So, what I'm counting on is that those will have numbers on them, and the reason they exist is for this ending. I don't know. Or for this playthrough. Come on. I'm still figuring this out, even though it's... Wait, did I pass it? Yeah, I passed it. Whoops. That's not where I meant. I meant to go back to the building where I have to do that puzzle. With the lens. Reactivate the generator. Here we are. This is actually one of the more difficult puzzles in the game now that I think about it, which is kind of odd considering it's so early on. What do I do with the lens? I forget what I do with the lens. This puzzle is so weird to me. Like, it just... 
it did make sense, but it felt like it was such a... It just... I wish I could see what was actually happening. I remember I had to squish something in the machine, but I don't remember what I had to squish. I have to fix this battery somehow, but I just don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, wasn't there something where I had to hold the sun up to something to power it temporarily? Wasn't that like with a battery? I had to like put the sun up to something to charge it. What was it? There was something I had to charge using the sun. I'm remembering now. Uh, I don't remember what it was though, but it was part of this puzzle. It's so frustrating solving, resolving the puzzle that you solved because normally I remember puzzle solutions, but this one I just don't. I don't remember. What did I have to do? Uh. Something in here. Wasn't there another bedroom on the other side of this map? Was it that? Was there something in there that I had to find? I don't... I feel like this can't be it. No. It's not... Don't squish the lens, because of course it wouldn't, because it's glass. Wait, there was another machine there. Is it this machine? Oh, use the crushed metal happened to my screwdriver? I used it to pry something off. Did I just get rid of it? I thought that was part of it. Maybe not. Uh, let's head the other way, actually. I forget what the solution to the puzzle is, but it was something... I didn't think it was this hard. I'm, 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 I don't know if we can't progress is the thing, but I feel like we have to because no other source of information it would be glowing. It would be pretty obvious. Oops, no. The game makes things obvious. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here's the bed. Yeah, take your nap. Okay. Restart the game again, because I'm still playing. I'm still continuing. 